Do you utilize both Salesforce and Jotform, but would prefer to stay on the Jotform side of things whenever you're using our integration? Well, let me show you how to set up the Salesforce legacy integration. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Jotform dashboard. And like I mentioned in the beginning, if you utilize both Jotform and Salesforce, but you would just prefer to stay on the Jotform side of things, even though we have a really awesome Salesforce app in the app exchange, you can also still utilize Salesforce as an integration from within Jotform. So let me show you how to get that set up. Now for this example, we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new form. So at top left-hand corner, we'll create a form. I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch on the classic form. And I'm just gonna drag in a few elements. Let's do full name, email, and phone number. Perfect. Now we're gonna head up to the top middle orange button settings. Then on the left-hand side, we have our integrations right here. Now I can see Salesforce is right here, but if it's not for you, all we need to do is just do a quick search for Salesforce. Next, you'll need to sign into your Salesforce account to authenticate the integration. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my account. And next we have two different options. We can either create a record or we can find an existing record. So for this example, let's go ahead and create a brand new record. And we need to choose which object we're going to place it in. For this example, let's go ahead and do account. And we can see that the Salesforce object fields are automatically mapping to our Jotform fields. Now with the account name, since our name field is two different fields, it wants to know, do we want the first name, the last name, or both together? And so for this, I definitely want both of them together right here. And if you have additional fields that you would like to map, you can choose to add a field and choose those that way. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then the last piece is updating the record. So it wants to know, do you want us to update any existing records that we fine to avoid duplicates. So yes, let's go ahead and turn that on. And I want for it to look for account names and we'll go ahead and save that action. And we're going to save the integration and we can see the integration is ready. So let's go ahead and finish. So from here, I'm going to head up to the top right hand corner. Let's preview the form and we'll do fill form and we'll submit our form. Perfect. So now I'm going to jump over to my Salesforce account and let's take a look at our account tab. So let's head to our accounts. And right down here, we have Susan Samuels. Perfect, we can choose her for more information, but it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Jotform's legacy integration with Salesforce, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.